Hello Taurus, uh, welcome to your reading. I'm Scorpio Moon, intuition bringing messages from spirit. This reading is general and it may or may not resonate with you. Take what resonates and leave the rest. And if you'd like to book a personal reading with me, you can visit www.scorpiomoonintuition.com. This reading is for sun, moon, rising, or Venus. Cross watcher, if you're the ones watching this, then it may resonate with you. So let's begin. If you are wearing headphones, please lower the volume. I welcome in my spirit guides, all angels, nice and good as good. I welcome messages of love and light that bring healing and love to all. Please bless this reading. Thank you. All right, Taurus, let's go ahead and take a look and see what is coming towards you and love. Spirit, can you please bring forth clear messages in regards to the person that is connected to Taurus and love? What can you reveal to me about the person that is connected to Taurus at this time? What is the energy of them overall? And what is their energy towards you? What is the energy, please, spirit of this person connected to Taurus? So we have pay attention to the red flags, playfulness, and keeping an open mind. Now, I do see here true love, but it's in reverse. But let's see. Now, their energy towards you is deception and loving yourself first, but it's in reverse. Very interesting. Hmm. So whoever that you're dealing with, okay, um, you really need to pay attention to the red flags. Maybe this is your person. Um, now, I see that they could be playful, okay, and they're trying to keep an open mind, but beware, okay, because is this a true love connection? I'm not sure. Now, there is a deception here. This person doesn't love themselves first. Now, I don't know who I'm channeling, you know. Um, it doesn't really feel like a twin flame. This could be a karmic partner, okay? So somebody who has a person, it could be a girlfriend, boyfriend, spouse, um, whatever, okay? Um, I really feel like this playfulness coming from this person, okay, is a red flag. So if you're coming across a particular person that is like that, just know that they're coming uh, to you with deception and um, this person um, needs to do some healing work. Now, is this person spiritual? No. <laughs> and I don't know who or why I'm channeling this. Now, if you've been following me and you had just one particular person um, that you're interested in and you want to get the tea on them, this is what I'm feeling. This is someone brand spanking new. Either this person was a passerby, um, maybe, you know, they work with them in the workplace. There could have been a little flirty action going on, okay? And let's say your person is already married and you're the side piece. Well, this is the other other person, okay? If, if that's your situation. Because I'm not getting twin flame off of this and, you know, I don't know. This could be considered as karmic, but it's not the primary karmic. It feels like a secondary, okay? So uh, if you feel that your person is acting a little strange, you haven't received communication or contact from them, there's another person, okay? Aside from who you already know. So let's go ahead and clarify. Spirit, can you please reveal to me what is going on with the subconscious of the person connected to Taurus and what is going on beneath the surface? Who is the person that is connected to Taurus at this time? So they have grief. Maybe they, they are singing the signs. Okay. And the answer is yes. Maybe they're saying no. 
Um, you know, they know that they need to say no towards being playful, but they're playing anyways. Okay. Uh, maybe this is your twin and they're trying to keep an open mind, you know, uh, you know, opening themselves up towards other connections. But um, I really feel like it's not a true love a situation. And let's say that this is your twin. Okay, they're having to do this because I really feel like you can't really be with them in a physical sense. So maybe for some of my tours, you're actually in another commitment or a situation. Take as resonates. You could uh, flip flop, you know, the roles. Okay, uh, that's what I'm feeling. Let's see. Is there anything else, Spirit? Okay. So we have Muse. So they're really trying to inspire themselves to keep an open mind towards other people. You know, and I also see here they haven't learned a lesson. Okay. Uh, by dealing with other karmic people. So like I said, you know, you could uh, like look at this from different angles, but from a twin flame perspective, for the twins, okay, that is connected to you. I mean, they're having to do this because they don't have any other option but to look in a different direction. You know what I mean? And yeah, they, they could be learning something from another uh, person, per se. Um, you know, they they know that they need to say no towards this. But I mean, they really feel stuck. Like, what else can they do? And I really feel like I have to defend this person because maybe you're just too stubborn to leave a situation or too stubborn to recognize or realize that um there is somebody here now they're really feeling bad because they're seeing it but they're doing it anyways okay uh that's what i'm feeling let's see uh please clarify this deception and loving yourself first in reverse So, you know, they know that they had a release, but they didn't, okay? Uh, so they're lying to you, okay? And I really feel like they're trying to do, you know, be creative. They're trying to reinvent themselves, but they're having a hard time of loving themselves first. So this is what I'm feeling, you know? And this is very true for twin flame connections. Let's say that you and your person are in... Uh, separation and you guys love each other but you're, you're still stuck in whatever ways that you're in okay both you guys are married Let, let's just put it like that okay um now let's say that one person is free one person is still stuck in a relationship and they're this person is really trying to change okay but it's really hard for them because you know they don't know what to do they can't be with you. So they feel like they have to get their um, affection in a, in a different way. If it's not coming from you, I mean, they're not going to, you know, put their life on hold to wait for you to get out of a situation. Because I know, Taurus, I mean, you take too damn long. I mean, I'm going to have to put you guys out there. Okay. <laughs> maybe you're stubborn. Maybe, you know, you, you, you know, are waiting on your person to get out of a situation. Like, take it as it resonates, okay? But I really feel like your person is having to do this because, I don't know, somebody here is stuck on somebody or something. And, I mean, like, that, that's what I'm seeing here. Okay. Well, let me go ahead and see what else. You know, because I know that that's not everyone's situation, but this is what wants to come through for today. Spirit, can you please reveal to me what is the energy of the person that is connected to Taurus? And Taurus, what is your energy towards this person? How do you guys currently think and feel? What is it that you want and what is the outcome? Spirit, can you tell me the situation between Taurus and their love interest? Thank you. So we have a windmill now. I don't know. Maybe I'm telling someone in the Netherlands. <laughs> a windmill. Yeah. Anyway. Um, your person is really conflicted. I really feel like there's just more than one person in the mix. Okay. So, I mean, in order to get towards you, I mean, they have to battle other people that are in the way. Okay. And I see that maybe for some you're done with an earth sign. Okay. 
um, your person isn't able to uh, really be with you. Okay, maybe it's because, you know, they have uh, other duties and obligations and another commitment or relationship. And um, I also see here five of pentacles. Okay, um, you know, they, they feel lack. Okay, they're really hiding the truth about their feelings. Okay, and uh, how they're feeling is like, you know, maybe they feel like they're not good enough. And um, if you're dealing with a fire sign, uh, this person has become a jerk, okay? They turn into a jerk or turn into a bee. You know, they're acting as if, you know, they're not really interested. And I see that maybe it's because somebody's married, okay? Someone here has a spouse and the spouse has... Um, you know, kind of like expectations on your person. So let's say it's your person over here. They can't be with you because they're married. Okay. And they're living their fake life. Okay. I just got to put it like that because that's what it feels like. Fake life because uh, they need to pay attention to the red flags, but they're grieving. Okay. But they're putting up a front in front of, of the public. Okay. Like life is great, but you know, they're still living their life with, you know, somebody. Okay. Now I also see here, this is a strength and it's in reverse. This person does not have the courage okay, to take the time to do the meditation and really reflect on what it is that they want. Now, have they had enough time to do, uh, to keep still and really think about this? That's why I really feel like uh, whoever your person is, maybe they have a problem of being alone, or maybe they're just tired of being alone. Okay, but what I'm seeing uh, so far is that whoever this energy is, maybe they have someone, maybe they're married, but they're married for superficial reasons. Okay, but maybe one person, okay, is either seeing you on a down low, and maybe you're seeing them also. Okay. Um, take as a resonance. Now I see here, there's a queen of cups here. Now they could be pregnant. Okay. They could be birthing something new. Okay. And I see that they need to really think, okay, about getting out of a, a, a situation with the family. And, um, yeah, so they're looking to see what they can do. Okay. Maybe they're making a plan. And they're planning to hold back. So maybe your person is feeling stuck. You know, I really feel like maybe, I don't know. Maybe they don't love the person that they're with. They got pregnant. And they can't let them go because they feel obligated to stay in it. And so, yeah, so th they could be portraying that, you know, you know, they're having a baby, blah, blah, blah. But, you know, it's all a front, man. You know, I don't know. I don't like this energy. You know, I'm sorry you have to deal with this, Taurus. But, you know, this person feels like they can't work on this. You know, they can't meet up with you at the hotel anymore. Okay. And that's for somebody. And I see that. You know, they really uh, see that, you know, it's business as usual. You know, you got to do what you got to do. And that's why they're holding back. Okay, you could be done with a fire sign. They're holding themselves back. They're not really pursuing you. Okay, and I really feel like here with the magician, they just feel like they can't, they can't manipulate. They can't go further than this. It's getting difficult. Why? Somebody got a baby. Somebody got pregnant. Or maybe there's already children already existing and children is the reason for someone um, to not leave a situation because, you know, they, they kind of invest in themselves into a family situation for a long time. Now, I see that your person is really holding back their feelings. Okay, and they really feel like they want to be stable. They want to, you know, balance everything, but they don't feel very good. Again, your person does not feel secure and they're hurt. They're hurt because, you know, things are taking way too long. You know, maybe they're focused on their job. You know, maybe they have a computer job, uh, an office job. You know, I see here like a notepad, you know. They're typing on the computer. They work in some sort of like, I don't know, maybe, I don't know, like a facility, an institution of some sort. 
And I see that they really want to express how they feel, that they want to, you know, they want to work on things, you know, they're looking towards the future. And they want to communicate that they want to get out of this, you know, stuck energy. Okay. And just kind of leave the past behind and really be authentic, really show up with their truth that, you know, they, they want a commitment. They want something traditional. Maybe for some, they're going to the courthouse, getting that divorce. And I definitely see her change. This is Scorpio energy. Okay. And they're just not feeling very good about love. Man, this is like some drama. I love you, but I can't be with you. Isn't there a song like that? I can't live something without you. Anyways, y'all know, I don't know, maybe everybody, I don't know. I'm really bad with songs. <laughs> anyway, let's see what else. You know, your person's at the Ten of Swords, and they feel like they can't do this, okay? And you're done with your Divine Masculine over here. This could be your Twin Flame. You know, it could be twin. It could be like somebody else. Take it as it resonates, okay? You know, and I really feel like, you know, you want a new beginning in love with this person, you know, and you want to take the lead. Maybe you're done with an Aries, you know, and your lover over here, they feel like they can't offer your relationship because they don't know what to do. They're stuck in, in a state of duality. They're between you and someone else or something else. Okay, and for you, you are very passionate towards this one. Okay, maybe you're waiting to have a drink with them, you know. Um, but I really feel like your person, um, you know, they're just playing with you, but you know, I don't know. There's something about a situation where a third party where you know they don't love and they have to learn a lesson. And I see here with the high priestess, their intuition is blocked about being stuck now for you you're trying to get out of uh this negative energy okay maybe you're dealing with a capricorn but you know what i'm seeing here taurus is that you know you are trying to let go um of not being able to have like a new beginning and i see here for the both of you guys okay that you guys are hurt you ultimately feel like you can't express your love and you're kind of depressed over here, Taurus. And for your person, okay, they're trying to heal. You know, again, you really feel that um, you want to open up. You want to come back towards this person. But your person feels like, you know, they can't for whatever reason. And I feel like both you guys have made a decision Okay, your person has decided to just make everything hard for themselves because why they're not seeing the signs. It's like, you know, your person is keeping them on self stuck, you know, grieving over a situation, you know, staying stuck in a marriage, you know, maybe because of a baby, blah, 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 you know, something like that. And for you, Taurus, you're kind of bummed out that your person is stuck on stupid. <laughs> Either they're tanto or you know y'all get what i'm coming from right like come on get it together this is 2022 what are you grieving over like covid is you know i mean let's just say covid is over yeah there, there must be new craps you know on the horizon but hey at least that is behind us right why are they still in this you know grieving situation you know, why during COVID, did they get pregnant? Did they get somebody pregnant during that time? There was nothing else better to do. And then now that that's causing a divide between you and your person even more. Because they were stuck with a karmic partner, you know, and they don't love them. But, you know, hey, you know, they got bored. That's what I'm feeling, guys. I mean, they're trying to keep an open mind about this situation. They're deceiving you. You know, they didn't love themselves. You know, they, they let themselves go. Like, shoot. I mean, you know, this person is acting like, I'm not going to lie, low vibrational, you know, just, uh, you know, everybody's doing it. So I'm going to do it too. You know, they're kind of like, you know, they're, they're the person who's going to follow the crowd. They're not a leader. 
they're a follower. They're kind of like sheepish, you know. And I know I'm not talking about everybody, but, you know, sometimes, you know, if that, that's your situation, you got to really put yourself on the spot. I mean, you you only know, okay, you can uh, only really address your own personal situation, okay, and really judge your own self, right? And I'm not really talking about you, I'm talking about your person over here, but I mean, hey, you know, it could be role reversal, I could be talking about you. It goes both ways, right? You know, but I see that, you know, there's a completion of a cycle, and I see that you need time to really think about this. So, I mean, what what can you do, right? Because I'm not really seeing any kind of resolution. This person still has to learn a karmic lesson. I mean, what else can I say about that? They got knocked up. They got pregnant. And I know that's not everyone's situation. But again, I really feel like I have to address it for this particular channeling because it's somebody's situation. Somebody got pregnant. And now, you know, either somebody was stuck in another situation. Let's say that you guys met up during COVID. Okay, somebody got pregnant, but you're not married to them. You know, they actually have somebody else. And so now you're stuck with a baby or your person over here is stuck with a baby and they can't be with you. Take it as it resonates with you. Know, it's going to be different for everyone. So let me see what else. Now, this is Erotic Sex Oracle. I don't know if this is the right deck to be using because so far, uh, I don't know. This deck is throwing the reading off so far for all the earth signs I did for today. Let's see here. Okay. So we have stolen kisses and no strings attached. Like, I mean, look at this. Now, I'm not thinking, this could be you, this could be that person that they got knocked up by. Okay, like something happened during COVID. Somebody got pregnant. Okay, and like I said, it's not everybody's situation. Now, if it's not a pregnancy situation, okay, maybe another person stolen kisses from your person and they got oopty doopy and, you know, they, they knew they were grieving. This person is guilty that they possibly went into another direction because you weren't there with them all the time. Somebody, uh, you know, was closer to them and they got, you know, a temporary fix. That's what I'm feeling now. For some, you know, maybe they stolen some kisses from you. And it was a no strings attached situation because this person is not in a relationship with you. They're in a relationship with someone else. And vice versa. It could be you I'm talking about. That's why I see. So, you know, oh, let's see. Spirit, what is the guidance that you have for Taurus? Sun, moon, rising, or Venus? <laughs> you know, we have Unag. Easy does it. There's no need to hurry or force things to happen. Everything is occurring in perfect timing. So, I mean... <sighs> I really feel like, you know, for both sides, okay, you're really going to have to sit with yourself, you know, and, and just take it easy. Now, for you, Taurus, I mean, maybe you're taking your sweet time. Maybe you are taking it easy, but, you know, you're being really stubborn about the situation. Um, also, we have Mau, Mother Earth. You're uh, called upon to help with environmentalism. So maybe the focus is not about love. Maybe it's about making a contribution to the planet. You know, and, you know, speaking of which, you know, if you guys, you know, go to uh, smibeautyandbath.com or my Etsy shop and purchase any kind of bath product, uh, my intention is that for every product, I will donate $1 of that order to runtreeplanet.org to plant trees to help reforest our, our planet, okay, from wildfires and, you know, and really using up our resources, right? We need to figure out a way to put back what Mother Earth uh, has given uh, to us. Okay, that's a cycle of life. We need to really uh, take ownership and uh, really protect, you know, where we live. Okay, so maybe Taurus, you know, maybe you're an environmentalist, you know, really focus on that. Now, this whole situation is a hot mess. 
Okay. If your person uh, got pregnant or, you know, they oofty doop and had sex with somebody else, but you got to check each other's situation. I mean, who is married? Who is stuck in a situation? Are you guys ever going to get it together? You know, well, what is, what is the outcome? What is the end game? Okay. That you guys want with one another. Are you guys wanting to be together or are you guys just like what? No strings attached. I mean, that's all I have, guys. So let me know if that resonated. You know, I'm just a messenger. <laughs> so thank you all for watching. And let me know in the comment section below if that resonated with you. And if you'd like to book a personal reading with me, you can visit www.scorpiomoonintuition.com. You can also follow me on IG at Scorpio Moon Intuition. And again, if you're interested in my lovely bath products, go ahead and check it out. It would make me very happy, you know, if you were to try any of my lovely bath products. Um, I have lotions, bath bombs, bath salts for your auric cleanse. So that you could relax, right? And de-stress and clear your energy of negativity. That was what the intent was for. And so uh, thank you again. And I will see you next time. Bye-bye. Mm -hmm.